Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review. And today, eh, we have an unexpected cigar. This cigar is uh, provided by Eric Smoke One, if you have one. And it's called Dale Estabo 1965. Now, even though this is called Instabo, it's released by Luciano cigar and some some sort of like uh, distribution agreement between Dale and Luciano cigar that made this cigar so I'm looking at the, some information here it said this cigar is made out of Corojo 99 wrapper and a Dominican and Kentucky air cured tobacco as well as Turkish tobacco in the filler. And a binder is from Pennsylvania. This whole entire combination has nothing to do with Istanbul. Kind of. Well, actually, no. This Turkish. Um, but like the rest of the inside is nothing Istanbul. But yeah. The size is a Toro. Five and a half by 54. They made 1500 boxes. Across the three sizes. Only 1,000 was in the U.S. So, now I try a couple Luciano cigar and like the ones that I've tried in the past didn't impress me all that well. So, we'll see how this one how this one do, right? This is a $20 cigar, by the way. $20. Would well, this worth $20 to me? I don't know. $20? It's a pretty big cigar. So, we'll see. Now, let's get started. Today, I don't have any food yet. So, I should have a fresh palette for this. <laughs> it's a little bit peppery or woodsy. On the smell on the outside. Okay. <clears throat> That's not a bad car, so not too bad. Draw is okay. The draw is okay. Did I finish this already? All right. I need to refill some of my gas tanks, but yeah, for well, now it will do. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on. All right, bring out the big gun. There you go. The reason it's not doing well is very cold. But now after you warm it up a little bit with some flame, it'll do very well. All right. There's a floral woodsiness to this. Yeah, a floral woodsiness with the hints of leather.
Pepper. There's also some dim sourness of like a leafiness. And cedar. Also a small leafy bitterness as well. Yep. So okay. I will smoke one third and we'll come right back. Okay, first third. Now refresh my mind here a little bit. Woodsy, a little bit of fruitiness, a little bit of floral, um, just a tide of spice, and some sort of burning wood or something like that has that esque bit, um, feeling to it. It's actually not a bad cigar, even though it doesn't give me the feeling of instant bowl, but it's a nice, smooth, uh, floral, woodsy cigar. And it's rather light uh, in terms of intensity. Rather light in terms of intensity. It's not like killing you or anything. It's probably right now mild to medium-ish. Construction is not bad. Uh, draw, at first it was okay, and then now it's kind of towards the loose side, so having trouble to get a really good smoke out of it. But it's, it's hanging there. It's, it's uh, trying to uh, get some serious flavor out, I think. Yeah, there's like some sort of like a fruit going on. It's actually not bad. It's actually very... Very nice. I, I can't find the right word for it right now. So very nice cigar. Um, if I can find out what fruit that is. There's a little bit of pepper too. There is a sweetness to it. That fruity sweetness. I just can't pinpoint what that is. But so far so good. $20? I don't know. But so far so good. Alright. So let's go to the second third and start getting off these bands. And we'll see where we go. Be right back. Okay, so there's a little problem. As you can see, I look kind of different than like a minute ago because this is recorded at a different time. Yeah, so what happened is the recording or the first record kind of got screwed up in the uh, second, third, and up. So I had to revisit the cigar. So now I'm visiting this cigar again, smoking this cigar completely from the beginning again. And I just want everybody to know that it's a separate review of revisiting the first cigar. Nevertheless, I will say, let's kind of revisit that first there with this first there. I get this really floral, a little bit mineral taste. And some sweetness with a little bit of pepper. That's what I got for the first third. Relatively smooth. I'm going to say this one burns a lot better than the first one. And, um, but we will give the same base to start with, right? So we know this is $20 cigar, uh, and we are going to judge it as is. Okay. So yeah. That's my first third. I want to say the second one burned a lot better than the first one. So, and um, we'll go from there. Be right back. Okay, so we are kind of back between the second third and the last third. Now, I want to show you guys the band because the band was ridiculously tight onto the cigar and the glue is so like, Solid. There's no way to to remove it. There was no way that the paper has absorbed every single possible glue that it can actually possibly absorb. So yeah, here's the main band. I want to show you guys just like a view of like Turkey. I think Istanbul. 
And here's the secondary bear. Again, same thing. Impossible. I had to rip it off because that was that. It was so tight on it. It was choking it uh, as I smoked. So, yeah. Dale is the bow. Right there. You can see, like, I'm already burning onto it. It's, like, turning color. And, yeah. Didn't do so well. And because of that, the guy is there. Uh, beat up. But it still does have a good flavor. Floral, a little bit saltiness, a little bit mineral, a little bit burnt charred notes. All right. Some sweetness. And here's the thing. I don't know what this is, but it tastes like a burnt pipe. Yeah, it tastes like a burnt pipe. It's not always here, but sometime is here. Sometime. Not always. All right. The draw is still okay. That little bit of wrapper destruction should balance out at the end, but that's the second there. All right. That's the second there. I mean, if you really like floral cigar, this is a really good cigar. All right. For people who love floral. So, like, for example, people who love Avo, you might like this cigar a lot. Yeah. Sometimes it just had that weird taste. I don't know what is burning in there, um, but sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. All right. So yeah, let's finish the last stir uh, and, and get back to it. But I, right now, as of now, this is a 12 to $14 cigar. I can't get to, I can't get to 20 with this, uh, with the, with the Ben issue. And, and I have some little bit Ben issue with the first one too. And, and, and the second one this is even worse of a bandage. That was impossible to remove. So uh, I will say between 12 and 14 right now. And we'll see how last they do. You know, again, it's uh, it's a floral cigar. It's kind of sweet. It's got some manure weird taste, like the burn charred taste. And then sometimes you get burn pipe or burn mineral taste. And then you get back to the floor. Okay. And there, there is a like a subtle, subtle sweetness going on when you don't taste the char. So we'll be right back. Okay, so finished. Um, I would say there is flavor throughout. It's actually almost amazing, but it didn't have any changes or anything like that. It's just it's a enjoyable boring cigar per se so i i will say that you know i want to stay somewhere around the 15 dollar mark and that's how it's as high as it can go 15 dollar mark because uh all the, you know it's like explodes and everything uh the band was not so well and um the flavor is good but boring so if you add all that together with the experience that i'm having you are roughly looking at a $15 cigar. Okay, $15 cigar. So that's what I'm going to give. $15 cigar. Okay, so yeah, that would be what I have. I mean, I could, rec I could definitely recommend this cigar. It's for some people, if you like floral note, you definitely got to like it. But for people that's looking for other, you know, sweeter, woodsy and all that stuff, it, you, it, it's, it's barely noticeable in this cigar. Like just, just all floral. I would say 90, 80% floor. So with that being said, this is a $15 cigar. Okay? In my opinion. So big thanks to uh, Smoke One. If you have one, Eric, for providing two of these for me to uh, do a review because the first one got screwed up and I don't remember what I said in the first one. So this technically is a fresh review because I don't remember what, what I said in the first one. So, and, and, and yeah, if you like the review, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and listen to our podcast. Get the swag, whatever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.